29.7 wood and bark. Here we have a internal structure of a woody plant or a tree. Now we saw before that the vascular cambium here in green is responsible for adding secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Now over time the secondary xylem um, is what is responsible for the rings in the tree. Um, now the internal xylem is going to be called heartwood because it is no longer functional and uh, these xylem cells have been um, filled in with resin to give the tree its strong structure and support and also helps prevent wood boring pathogens and fungus and different forms of attack. Now the sapwood is the outer layers of secondary xylem and these still function in transporting um, water for the plant. Now what we're going to focus on here is the cork cambium. Now here we have our sapwood, our secondary xylem. We have our vascular cambium. Now we have our living phloem. Um, now the bark consists of the phloem and the periderm. We mentioned earlier that as a tree gets older, the epidermis is going to re be replaced with periderm, which we know um, as the outer part of the bark. So like a young tree is gonna be soft on the outside and as it grows, it hardens and develops bark and that is because the epidermis is being replaced with periderm. Now, the second lateral meristem we'll talk about is the cork cambium. Now, that is on the outside part of the phloem, and uh, it's going to produce cork. Now, cork um, is going to be part of the bark that is filled with uh, a waxy, material inside the cork cells that help protect against water loss, physical damage, and pathogens. So again, we have our heartwood, which is no longer functioning xylem. We have our sapwood, which is a xylem that still does function. This is both uh, produced by the vascular cambium. Then on the outside of the vascular cambium, we have our living phloem. And then outside of that, we have the cortex, which has the cork cambium that produces the cork. This makes up the periderm, and both the living phloem and the periderm make up the bark of a tree.